Hi there and welcome to the Science Hutch. I'm Hutch and this is our science. Our very special science today is going to show you how to use Logger Pro to find a graph of the motion of a wave pulse as you just saw in the video. So first thing you're going to do, you should already have Logger Pro downloaded on your computer. You're going to open it. It's going to look like this. Next thing you're going to do is go up to the top and click the drop down to insert movie. And once you've selected movie, you want to find where you've saved the movie on your computer. So here I go. I've got it in AP Lab 8 and there's my little wave pulse video. Next thing you want to do is resize the video on the screen. You have these little squares at the corners that you can click and drag to make it as large as possible. You want to pop out your editing tools there on the right and play the video just to make sure it's looking good. Then you want to click and drag the slider in the video there so that you're not analyzing parts of the video where there is no motion that you want to see. Get it right to the point where the wave pulse is created and then we want to track the front end of the wave pulse right there. You want to be consistent with that. Click the second button there to add points. Now you get a reticle and you can click to fire a little blue dot onto your screen and it automatically advances your frames. Now I'm going to give you a pro tip here. You want to move the reticle completely out of where you want to click and then move it back with each click so that you can be very accurate. Next thing you're going to want to do is to Use the third icon down at your top right, and that's going to set an origin point. Click on your first blue dot for that. Now you've got a nice X and Y axis in yellow. Fourth icon down, it's going to give you your setting scale. Set your scale, bring your cursor down to where you have a meter stick in the shot. Click and drag, you get that green line. Let go, you get the pop up box. By default, you get a distance of one meter. If that meter stick is one meter, click OK. Now we're going to click on the graph to see the data that's been automatically created. You can see the X data, which is our horizontal position, is moving up and to the right in these red dots. I'm going to click Analyze, get this drop down menu. You can click Curve Fit or Linear Fit. I know that I want a straight line fit, so I'm going to click Linear Fit. I chose my X data, and I get this beautiful little box here. You get like your X equals MT plus B, which is similar to Y equals MX plus B. I can see my slope, which is giving me meters per second. Hooray! Now you can use Logger Pro 3 to analyze the motion of moving objects. You should be able to import a movie, track a moving object's position, set an origin point, set a scale for distances, and then now you have a graph. You can analyze your graph data to get a best fit line. Now you're the physicist. It's time to be smarter than the software. You need to be able to answer questions like, what does your X and Y data mean? And what information can you find from the best fit line that you have produced? This is the Science Hutch. I was the Hutch. This was the science. You're the physicist. Happy physicsing. Thanks for watching.